Some sort of tofu drink? Am I supposed to shake it? Maybe I'll give it a little shake first. Here's the crispy chicken skin thing. One of the main reasons that people go into 7-Elevens here in Thailand is to escape the heat, I'm sure, because five minutes of that AC just blasting in your face really does wonders and then you are good to go. But another reason that people flock to 7-Eleven is because they have a lot of really delicious stuff for a cheap, cheap price. So I thought, why not try to live only off 7-Eleven stuff for 24 hours, which is probably something I've done before. And I've already had breakfast today, so we're gonna be starting this at lunchtime around noon. Let's go see what kind of unusual and delicious stuff we can find. Of course they have some flavors we're not really used to in the Western world, like I really love this nori seaweed one. They've got all these unusual snacks like mung bean truffle, spicy seafood, tamarind candy, sun-dried banana, and durian chips, of course. Some sort of tofu drink, although I think this is just soy milk. And of course, I can't leave 7-Eleven without getting a famous toasty, quite like this one, shredded pork and salad cream. Around here, you start entering more meal territory, so you've got your burgers, your dumplings, but I always end up taking one of these Japanese onigiris. Some other meal options include crab fried rice, fried rice with Korean style chicken. Now when you're in Asia, this is a staple food and they are the toasty sandwiches, but I like to warm them at home because I'm never going to eat them right away. But today, for the purposes of this video, I got it warm at 7-Eleven. I think they like use a sandwich machine at 7-Eleven, so Oh yeah, so if you're gonna get a toasty at 7-Eleven, get it warmed at 7-Eleven. I am now home from my big 7-Eleven haul and let me show you all the stuff I got. The total came to $11.28. So of course you should not drink the tap water here in Thailand, so I got this big jug of water. I also got some boring stuff, which is pretty cool that you can find at 7-Eleven as well. Stuff like bread and eggs, you can definitely find there. I got some local Thai milk for my morning coffee. From what I can understand and from what I researched online, this is a traditional appetizer here in Thailand where they take all of these elements and they wrap it in a leaf. And I think it's gonna have a very heavy cilantro and also lime flavor. Here we go. Mmm. All right, I can really taste that lime in there. It's actually really good. It might even be better than the seaweed. And in the snack department, I also got this barbecued chicken looking kind of thing. And it literally feels like there's about six items in there. Here's the crispy chicken skin thing. They only kind of fill it one third of the way, but let's try it either way. You may not get a lot, but it's certainly flavorful. Just really crispy and hard. It tastes exactly like chicken skin. What can I say, except with a little barbecue kick. So I don't know if I'd buy it again just because you don't get a lot inside, but it is delicious. Some of those 7-Eleven meals go for 60 baht, which is about $1.60. Now, if you times that by three and then by 30, it comes out to less than $150 a month on food. And I'm not suggesting that you spend your month eating 7-Eleven food, but what I am saying is that food is incredibly affordable here in Thailand. And as for the meals, today I went for the stir-fried soy sauce noodles with pork. Of course, you already know about my half-eaten toasty. I also got this corn drink, which I have no idea what to expect. Am I supposed to shake it? Maybe I'll give it a little shake first. It does say golden sweet corn, so maybe it's like a dessert drink. Mmm, that's actually really good. I love it. It is sweet and it does literally taste like corn on the cob, which is a strange combination, I know, but it's actually very refreshing and I would drink this again. You don't expect me to live tonight without a nice big chang, so I got me one of those. You gotta at least commend me for trying to be healthy. I've actually had the Caesar salads from 7-Eleven before and they are pretty good too. And of course, you cannot visit a convenience store in Asia without grabbing yourself an onigiri. This is also a staple food. So pretty much a rice ball with salmon, stir-fried soy sauce noodles with pork. So now let's pop this baby into the microwave. There we go. While the noodles are in the microwave, this is a good time to talk about this stove right here. Now I've been in Chiang Mai for about 
20 days and I have not turned this stove on once. There's too many easy and affordable options for food otherwise, whether it be 7-Eleven food, street food, delivery. Look at this. Everything you need, noodles, eggs, veg, garlic, pork. This is one of the best um, dishes I've had at 7-Eleven. It's really garlicky, which I love. Remember these guys from earlier? Sprinkle some of that on top, give it that crunch factor. Let's cut to tomorrow morning to see what else I can have from 7-Eleven to get through 24 hours with only 7-Eleven foods. See you in the morning. Wouldn't you know it, it is morning here in Chiang Mai. The 24 hours living off 7-Eleven items is almost finished. There's just one hour to go and I've actually had a very busy morning working so I haven't eaten anything today yet, but I'm about to smash that onigiri. Let's go check it out. Got my condiments ready and the onigiri. Voila. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, nothing like corn in the morning. I still have this Caesar salad to get through as well. So as you can see, like you can really live off 7-Eleven items for a long time. And this will get me straight through lunch. That was quite the 7-Eleven adventure, but it's safe to say there are better ways to experience Thai culture. In the next video, we'll explore all of the things that make Thailand such a special place. Click here and I'll explain how this country helped me rediscover the joys of travel. I'll see you right over there in 3, 2, 1.